Hello boys and girls, my name is Claudio and it's time for another Italian tutorial. Possessive adjectives and pronouns. Aggettivi possessivi e pronomi possessivi. This is what they are in English. Now let's have a look at the difference between an adjective and a pronoun in this case. When I say my cat is white, we have an adjective and we need to use the adjective because there's a noun along with it. Okay? But then we can say yours is brown. So whenever you don't have the noun going along with it, then it can't be an adjective because the adjectives are always together with a noun. Basically, you don't want to repeat the word cat. My cat is white. Your cat is brown. So we've also had a look at colors in a previous video. So we should know colors already. If you don't remember the colors, you can go and watch that video and come back. Now, let's try and translate that English sentence in Italian. So my cat is white. Cat is gatto. And it's a masculine word. So il, in Italian, every time you have a possessive adjective or pronoun, you need the article. So il mio gatto is a white bianco. Obviously you have mio instead of mia and bianco instead of bianca because gatto is masculine. So all the adjectives and words referring to cat have to be in, in their masculine form. Il tuo gatto è, how to say brown, marrone. Let's have a look at how we can contract it, how we can contract the second part of the sentence and use the possessive pronoun instead of the possessive adjective together with the noun. So basically we get rid of cat, we don't repeat it now and we see how the sentence looks. So the first part is the same as the one before. My cat is white. Il mio gatto è bianco. Now we want to say yours is brown. Il tuo è marrone. So as you can see, it's a lot easier than in English. In English you have to be careful and you have to make the distinction between adjective, possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. And sometimes you have your, sometimes you have yours. In Italian, you have tuo in both cases. It doesn't change. You don't repeat cat, but you still use the same pronoun because the adjective and the pronoun look exactly the same. So it's easier in Italian than it is in English. Okay, guys, so now you know everything about possessive adjectives and pronouns in English and you know how to translate them in Italian and you know how to use them in Italian, which is the most important thing. As you can see, it's quite easy, but if you have questions, don't be afraid to post a comment down below. Click on the like button if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos. Take care and see you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah.